Keeping a lion as a pet is insanely expensive. This is not the first thing we thought we would be warning about when owning lions. Believe it or not, in some countries, keeping lions as pets is not forbidden. Those who want to own lions need to have acres and acres of free land where the lions can roam free. They also need food, lots and lots of food. But remember, lions don't eat every day in the wilderness, so you'll have to feed them only two or three times per week. Bear in mind, we're talking about 20 to 30 pounds of meat here. Also, keeping your pet lion entertained and healthy is of vital importance. That's why it's imperative to play games with them. Also, regular vet checkups are mandatory, but there's a problem. You can't just put your lion in the back of your car and take her to the vet. You need to arrange for a special wildlife vet to come to the preserve and examine the lion, which could cost tens of thousands of dollars. Living with seven tigers could be a hassle, but not for this family from Brazil. The love of the Borges for these giant cat predators started a long time ago. The father of the family, Arias Borges, saw two baby tigers being treated very poorly at the local circus. Not wanting to see them suffer any further, he brought the two cubs home. Since that day, Arius, his wife, and their two daughters have smashed that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, they've grown to love the animals. The little girls walk them on a leash, pet them, feed them, and now Nayara, the younger of the two, goes for a swim in their pool three times per week. Arius claims that the cats are harmless and has seven of them. He often brings them inside the house, where they eat together with the family and watch TV. However, one man's not content with this whole situation. Yuyara, his oldest sister, has a husband that doesn't like the fact that his wife spends so much time with these wild cats. He considered them dangerous and would like her to stop. And now comes Wally the Alligator. While some people like to keep dogs and cats as emotional support animals, Joey Henney from Pennsylvania decided to get himself a pet alligator. Believe it or not, Joey says that he wouldn't like to imagine life without Wally. And aside from this strange pet, Joey is a reptile enthusiast, meaning that you'll find everything from bearded dragons to ball pythons in his home, and they're all considered pets. But Wally, now he's the talk of the town. Unlike a normal gator who likes to eat people, Wally likes to give kisses and cuddles. He even likes being walked on a leash. Whenever some of the locals spot him at restaurants, parks, or the mall, they ask Joey if they could take a picture with Wally. Unsurprisingly, the elderly gentleman always agrees. Royal White Bengal Tigers are good pets, right? Well, according to this lady, they are. Everyone, let's meet Loka. At the time of filming the video, the tiger was only 7 months old, and he already weighed 200 pounds. He has a lot of growing to do, which means we won't see him at 200 pounds ever again. Currently, he's living at the Myrtle Beach Safari Preserve. They're just like normal tigers, the only difference being in their fur. You see, this is not an albino tiger, it's a tiger with a recessive color gene. This makes Loka extremely rare and valuable. In addition to the snow white coat, he also has crystal blue eyes. And now you'll see him swimming in one of the pools at the reserve. And then we have the leopard, Buddy. My biggest fear is that one of my animals will hurt somebody. This is how Armin Gerber, a wildlife park owner, lives every day of his life. He loves the thrill of working at the Iron Throne Predator and Wildlife Park located in South Africa. He's so attached to the animals that he even let the cubs of one of his leopards live in his home. They're sleeping right beside him. But some would say that this is really cruel towards the cubs, but Armand has a different explanation. You see, because they're wild predators, the leopard's chances of attacking someone increase the more he's away from humans. The more they're away from humans, the more likely the chances of an accident. To prevent this, Armand is raising the cubs near him. He claims that this is the best way to raise predatorial cats in captivity. But this does come at a cost. You see, because he separated the mother from her cubs, the man is now more vulnerable and exposed to attacks from her. But he says that'll go away in due time. This is Mark Dumas, and he has a polar bear as a pet. Mark's been raising AG since the bear was a little cub. The bear grew fond of him, and the man's greatest predator has now become man's greatest friend, weirdly enough. Everyone can clearly see that she's really close to Mark. Yes, she's a she, and this poses problems whenever female friends come to visit. You see, AG is possessive, and whenever someone takes Mark's attention away from her, she can get agitated and even attack someone. Needless to say, sending a female reporter to cover this story wasn't the smartest idea. 
But don't think of this polar bear as heartless. She's fond of Mark and his wife. It's other women she doesn't like. In their spare time, this strange human-animal duo spends their time bathing in their backyard pool. This makes Mark the only man alive with such bragging rights. Next comes Kodiak Bears. Kodiak Bears are the largest species of grizzly bears in the world. They weigh roughly 1,400 pounds, and this American couple keeps two of them as pets. One of the bears they've had for 21 years. His name is Jimmy, and they got him as a cub. They find orphaned wildlife and bring them to their 100-acre estate in Otisville, New York, but not all the bears make it. So far, they've buried four bears, and they know exactly where their grave sites are. Jim says that losing a bear feels exactly like losing a family member. They take care of them for so long that the couple feels they're part of the family. And that's not all they keep. In total, they take care of 11 bears, including the Kodiak bears, some black bears, and Syrian bears. Jim and Susan say it's very difficult to tame a wild bear, especially since these giants can take down a man with one swipe of the paw. Let's not forget about Andre and the pet wolf. This is Andre. He's a coach living in Russia, and this is his pet wolf. We didn't mispronounce that. Andre's keeping a wild wolf as a pet. Don't fret, there's a pretty heartwarming story behind this unusual friendship. While walking in the nearby forest, he heard the cries of a small puppy. Andre immediately went looking for the little doggy, and this poor thing was quivering when he found it. Clearly, he was afraid. He took the little puppy, held it in his arms, and the puppy stopped trembling. Obviously, it felt safe. Andre took it home and began caring for the strange but cute canine. As the puppy grew, neither Andre nor his friends could find what breed of dog this was. Strangely, this little guy ate way more than the average dog. Getting suspicious, Andre called a dog expert to identify the breed. After taking one look at the puppy, the expert immediately told him this was no puppy. It was a North American gray wolf the largest canine in the entire world. Andre didn't get discouraged or fearful. He accepted the little guy and kept feeding and petting him, and before he knew it, this is how big he got. The thousand-pound Liger is the biggest pet cat in existence. He's kept at the Myrtle Beach Safari and has even won several Guinness World Records. His name is Apollo, and he's a hybrid wildcat. Ligers are obtained from a female tiger and a male lion. Unlike other large cats, a liger can grow several times larger than its parents. Apollo was born on the Myrtle Beach Safari Preserve, and he's a first-generation liger. That means the owners of this wild park were the first to breed him. When filming the video, Apollo is five years old and very vocal. He likes to roar and talk to his owners whenever they walk him. To keep a liger like this, you'll need a large area of land for it to roam free. You'll also need about 25 to 35 pounds of food every single day. At Myrtle Beach Safari, they feed him 30 pounds of chicken legs every day. That's a lot of chicken. As a treat, they like to give him a bottle of milk. The owners say this is similar to giving an adult a small bowl of ice cream. When it comes to food, these giant cats can eat 100 pounds of food in one sitting. However, because they're prone to gaining a lot of weight, they mustn't overeat. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next.